That was wild. Whoa. That was weird. Hello lovers, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today our journey takes us from Destin, Florida to Jacksonville, Florida with a stop in Tallahassee. In this episode I have to chase down a UPS driver and I eat some questionable sushi. So let's jump right in. When I last left you, I was in Destin, Florida, and I was waiting for a package that didn't get dropped off. So I went to the beach, and then I couldn't wait any longer, so I had to get on the road. But first, I needed to stop off for gas. Now, one thing that I noticed is, I keep complaining about California's gas prices, but the gas prices in other parts of the country are low, but I started to notice there was a sign on the pump that said 10% ethanol. And at these gas stations, there's even a separate pump that says ethanol free. So I'm like, hmm, I think that's not really that great for your car. So maybe that's the reason why gas is cheaper in a lot of other places. Maybe the gas quality is not good. So I need to do a little research on that because even though the gas is cheap, I want to save money. I don't want my car to be getting all junked up. So now that I got my gas, I want to jump on the road, but it's about four o'clock. So I don't want to drive the four plus hours all the way to Jacksonville because I, I'm tired and I don't want to have to look for parking at dark and all that stuff. So I'm going to just stop in Tallahassee, which is about two and a half hours. And then tomorrow I'll drive from Tallahassee to Jacksonville, which is another like two hours and some change. So that way it'll break it up a little bit and then I can get some rest. Hello. Hi. I'd like to ask you a favor. You know, it would be so nice if you just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on it. And you know, another thing, since I'm just asking for favors, you could also tell a friend about Travel Snacks. Thanks. Okay, so I just woke up in Tallahassee, Florida. I was in Destin yesterday and I was waiting all day for an Amazon package to be delivered and then they sent me an email at 8 p.m. saying never mind it's gonna come tomorrow or the next day so I was like ugh. I immediately went on to Amazon and ordered another one to be sent to Jacksonville and so I knew that I could get one but every day is delaying me being able to use my regular camera so all these videos have been recorded on my iPhone which really sucks I mean it's not terrible because iPhone has really come up but not the same now I gotta go get my package at Amazon there and hopefully it shows up at a decent time also this is one of the first mornings where I didn't wake up freezing as you can tell I'm just wearing a tank top and I don't know what the temperature is but it is nippy but it is not freezing and that makes me happy and finally the last thought that I have this morning is I didn't really think about the time changes as I was driving like before I started on this road trip from California to Florida like I knew that obviously there's different time zones but I didn't factor that in when I was planning out my day so you know if there's like a long drive and then if I get up at like 8 in the morning I'm like wow that's late but then I'm like oh like I'm really getting up at like 5 a.m. California time so no wonder I've been so tired my sleep's all off I'm all in different time zones and all these weird things driving a state a day <laughs> is probably not the best idea and it's just been it's been good but tiring here's the Walmart parking lot that I stayed in last night it's actually really pretty at night it looked really ominous and scary and I think there was some drug deals going down but I found a good spot so I'm gonna get up and get ready and then get on the road. My package. Whew, 
Yay, I made it to Jacksonville. Okay, I am really excited, but my mood has been dampened. My hair is crazy. Like, I had my hair in braids and now it's just crazy. I need a shower, but my mood is dampened because, so I just get here and I look to see what's the status of the UPS delivery. Now, mind you, this is going to an Amazon hub, like an actual Amazon hub where they have Amazon lockers. And I look at the status and it says attempted delivery at 1120 and there was a problem. So it gives me the number for UPS. I called the guy was like, yeah, there was a problem. I'm like what happened? It's an Amazon hub. And he's like, it doesn't say what happened, but now it's not going to be available till Monday. Monday. I, no, it's currently 1210. So they just tried to deliver it within the hour. So where are they? I will come get it. So he's like, well, this is so, why are people like, so he's like, well, we can have it delivered to the UPS customer center in Jacksonville and you can go pick it up. But your address on your, on your ID, your driver's license has to match the address that's on the package. He's like, do you work at the Amazon hub or do you live there? I'm like, why would I live at the Amazon hub? Who lives at the, who lives there? Who lives at an Amazon hub? Nobody lives there. Okay, so that's not gonna be on my driver's license, that address. And no, I don't work there. I am a customer going to get my package. He's like, oh, well then they're not gonna give you your package because it doesn't match the address. I'm like, that makes zero sense. Whoever I need to talk to, I'm getting this package. So then he's like, well, I'm gonna just inform them what's happening and then they'll give you a call within the hour and here's the address and it's gonna you can pick up the package tonight and see if they'll give it to you and I'm like oh they're gonna give it to me so anyways now I'm just waiting for the call to find out what's the status <sighs> okay update they did call me just now it hasn't even been an hour and Janetta from UPS she is awesome she was like don't worry about what that guy said she's like actually let's track down this driver and you can go get the package you guys can meet up and stuff so she actually gave me the phone number of the driver and I just talked to him and he's like, if you're willing to drive like just maybe like seven to 10 minutes, I'll give you the package. So I'm over here at the Walmart and he just gave me the address. So I'm on my way and he sounds nice. And so I'm gonna get my package and be able to charge my camera. Ow, go Jacksonville. I got my package. That was wild. Whoa. That was weird. That was wild. I just rolled up into this like Air Force Base type place that he said and just met him on the side of the road and I'm like, do you need my ID? He's like, no. Ah, so I got my package. <sighs> this is what I've been waiting for. This silly little thing is what I've been waiting for days for. Had me driving all over the place. Basically all it is, charger. This is it. So I can take my camera batteries and charge it so I can use my camera instead of my phone. That's it. That's what I've been waiting all this time for. Lesson to myself, bring more than one charger, bring three chargers because you never know. All right, so I was craving sushi for the last couple days and I didn't want to spend a lot. So I found this place on Yelp. It had, I think four stars and it's called Sushi and Subs. So right there, a little nervous, but I got the south side roll and it's like shrimp tempura, avocado, crab, imitation crab stuff. And it's like legit. It tastes good. Now I did think, I think I did hear the microwave going. So I don't know if she was microwaving the shrimp tempura. Maybe she got like frozen shrimp tempura from like Costco and that's how they heat it up, which that's kind of weird. But this roll is actually really good. When I was in there, it looks crazy. It looks like like an office slash restaurant slash maybe somebody's living there. I don't know. There was a lot of clutter, a lot of boxes. Um, it looked a little crazy, but I'm hungry and I will be pissed if I get food poisoning, but also I can only be pissed at myself because it did look a little shady, but I mean, they had good reviews on Yelp. So hopefully those people aren't liars. She was very nice. <laughs> she was like, oh, if you don't like it, you can bring it back. 
<laughs> Who says that? That's weird. And then it looks good. Tastes good. But there's some ingredients in here that I'm not really sure how to place. Like, I don't know. There's things in here that taste maybe like Rice Krispies. Like a crunchy thing. I don't know. Also, this was $7.50 for 12 pieces. I mean, that's a good deal. And that's a lot of food. It's like the $7.50 is already a lot for me for lunch. But it's Friday and I made it to Jacksonville. So, so what's going to happen? So, but it's huge. So I'm glad I didn't get two rolls. I think I'm going to hang out for a little bit. Like a little, like at least an hour or two. Then go find Planet Fitness. And get on with showering and all that.